for helping me make this video real quick for you guys for a 2021 Honda Accord uh, Touring Hybrid. So make sure you guys email him, text him, or call him. If you guys want one, he'll get you a great deal. Just let him know Red Line Mod sent you and he'll take care of you. I guarantee that. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Red Line Mods. Thanks for tuning back in. Check out this 2021 Honda Accord Hybrid it's a Touring. As you can see, you can tell by the wheels, that's a touring model. And 2021, you can tell by the way the fog lights are shaped, it's different from the uh, 2018 to 2020 models. And it's uh, also the headlights are also different. Uh, usually for the high beam, it was a big circle here, but now it's all in here for the high beams are right there. Um, so it's a touring model, it does come with the parking sensors right there, one right there. And you also have it on the other side as well. Sorry if it's kind of windy in here, but I'll speak out loud for you guys. I bought it on the side, you know, isolated from other cars. So we could focus on this beauty. One right there, one right there for the parking sensors are really great features to have, especially with a white car like this. You always need that extra safety. And the sensors are more bigger right now, the 2021 for more accuracy. And the touring model does come with the trim, like, these trims right here, these pieces. This is a long trim behind the plate, by the way. It's just in it. Um, the chrome, actually. Yeah, it comes with this chrome in the front grille. If you don't like it, do a vinyl wrap on it if you want to. Um, pretty easy to fix. I know a lot of people don't like chrome nowadays. Uh, some do. Um, yeah, and this is also, I've noticed that this front grille chrome is also, this middle piece is a bit wider. Uh, not a lot longer, but just a bit wider because when I try to fit a piece on the 2020 models 2019 2018 they're all the same except this one the 2021 is a bit wider Just so you guys know um, For those who's trying to get those glass black covers for the chrome delete They will not fit the 2020 models just so you guys know about that part um, The headlights right there, the fog lights right here Comment below what you guys think about the front so it looks, I like the aerodynamics on the hood as well. It's picked up the white color so you guys can see how beautiful the white one looks. It's a side view right here. Then check out those 19 inch wheels right here. Touring model got these wheels. I believe in the other also a 2.0 it does come in a sonic gray they have the gloss black side mirrors on those models as you can see it's got a moon roof and then over here what you see right there is the the heads-up display which is awesome and I'm gonna show you guys really quick in the back full side view you can see the chrome in the bottom as well it's a full side view right there And then there's also trims. This is chrome right here on top. Well, see, it's a key uh, keyless entry chrome here as well. So keyless entry in the driver's seat, and I'll check out if it has it on the passenger side. But it does come with the blind monitoring monitoring uh, feature as well. So let me see if it has a courtesy light underneath. Yes, it does. A touring does have the courtesy light because many models, I think, below this does not have it. I'm not sure if the 2.0 has it, but this is a touring model, so it does have it, just so you guys know. Um, it could be changed to white, but pop that small plastic piece up and upgrade to LED version. So that's good to know, and let's see if the red one has it. Let me just unlock it really quick. Um, nope, the Rio does not have it, so possibly just the front two has it, passenger and the driver's side. So going back, the gas is also capless. Just go ahead, fill it up. Make sure to push it, click it once, it'll be locked in. And then you have the chrome piece on top of the window, going all the way to the front. Checking out the back. That's how the back looks. 
and then going underneath as I always show every people you know some people want to do modifications to it so I just want to show you guys quick it only has one exhaust uh, pipe coming back one muffler coming back down in the right side of the passenger side doesn't have one there just wanted to show you guys that and it's covered by it doesn't pop out with like exhaust finish tips or anything like that it's just right there underneath behind the bumper and the bumper speaking of the bumper it does have four parking sensors up you guys park better and again guys this is a shout out for um you know ray make sure you guys see him i'll definitely put his info in the, the description below and give him a call text him email him he'll take care of you just tell him redline mod sent you to him he'll give you a great deal you're not going to find any anywhere else i can tell you that right now but yeah going through right now you got the trim piece right here the chrome on the side as well on this end and let's go inside the car to see if so there we have a courtesy light on the touring model passenger side but not in the rear okay just so you guys know so i'm gonna go ahead and uh pump up the hood real quick and show you guys what's underneath the hood and then we'll go inside and take a look what inside has to offer us Pop up the hood real quick. So, that's what you get under the hood. Got the hybrid, hybrid thing right there. Batteries on the side. Huge space here. Look at that downpipe, so easy to reach. Everything is pretty easy to reach, honestly. Um, yeah. That's that, let's go ahead, close that up and I'll show you guys really quick how much space we have in the trunk as well. I don't wanna miss that part. And this is, does have a remote start right there. I took this key out on, on purpose for a reason. I'm gonna show you guys a quick trick if most of you don't know. The key is right here with me. And right now, let's just open up. So there you have it. The trunk does not go up all the way. You have to lift it up. And then you gotta also close it by hand, grabbing it from here. So the trunk has this much space inside. It's uh, pretty big. I think three luggage, one, two, about three luggages, big ones can fit. And also, as you can see in the center, the seats do split when they fold. So you have one right here. I'm gonna fold it right, I'm gonna pull it right now so I can show you. And then we'll close. Then you have the camera right here. So, this way. This is the rear. I'll be using this right now, guys. Make a POV video for you guys. See how it drives. Um, so, MSRP on this would be right around this price right there. Um, what else we got? So, it's inside is fully leather. It's very comfortable inside. This will... This can drop down for you know cup holders stuff like that and then like i said about the seats coming down you're just gonna pull it down from here so you see split so it does the whole thing doesn't come down the all three doesn't, doesn't come down with one pull it has two separate pulls if you need each side to be you know down and one side up for setting so this side would come down if you pull that side see that there you go locks back in and in the back, you do have charging ports, which is pretty awesome. USBs, check that out. A lot of people love this, and many cars don't have this feature. Um, then you have the vents also. Open it. And then you have the vents for the rear, which is perfect as well. And you have storage in both, both seats in the back, which is awesome. All right. Let me go in the front. And then you have... Um, seats in the back as well, heated seats, I would say. Um, I'm not sure, I got, it looks like ventilated seats in the back. Possibly both, I don't know, <laughs> but if I turn on the car and test it out, then I'll know if it's blue, then that means it's ventilated ones, like cold, cold air, and then if it's hot, then of course, if it's like an orange one, red looking one, then it's heat. So it's simple as that. So when the car's on, you could actually change this for yourself. That is awesome, actually, guys. I love that. 
Oh, and the feature I want to show you guys about this, why I took this off. Let's check this out, all right? Let's see where real quick. I'm gonna go on this side. So I'm gonna press and hold. Mostly cars do that, all right? But many people don't know about this trick. So unlock and then press and hold. So all the windows will come down, including the bone roof will go, will open up completely as long as you hold it down. And then if you press the lock button and stuff or hold it, nothing's gonna happen really. But if you really wanna close it back up, you actually have to manually put the key in to the left ones to lock it and then second turn and hold and as you can see all these windows will close back up completely so i put that back inside quick. all right so the key's in now i have the key on me and like i said keyless you see that the key could be in your pocket and it will open up all you got to do is put your finger or your hand there and it will beep and it'll open up automatically but if you want to lock it you close it you just touch that right there and it starts it locks the whole car and now it's open so now going in side all right check this out let me start it real quick because it's kind of hot Put the key here so of course push the start hit the brakes and start oops my bad I accidentally it's super quiet that's why i felt like i did, it didn't turn on all right so it's on as you can see I got the AC on right now, blasting on me. All right, and then you have the ventilator. You see the um, seats right here? It's on high, medium, low, off. Put it on high right now. It's super hot outside, guys. I need this. And going right up here, this is touchscreen, as you can see. That's touchscreen and you have the navigation which is awesome and then you have the bluetooth audio smart uh, you know smartphone connection to power flow Let me turn off the other thing uh what else is there then they have the trip computer power flow is here then you have at&t hotspot as well pretty cool i haven't seen that one and yeah, if you go to settings, you'll see a bunch of things right there. All that stuff, you know, driver one. I guess if you, you're gonna have two keys, so of course for driver one, driver two, you have different setups. Going back to the home button, and you do have below right here, you do have the wireless charging pad. So if you just drop your phone here, it will start charging and then i believe this is the usb for your um carplay because i didn't see anything for carplay like where does carplay you do have storage here and then you have the one uh, 12 volt uh power outlet in the middle right there and then you have the brakes you have to you know press the brakes over there and then engage to come up and then disengage press down press and hold feature um, you have the econ mode, you have the sport mode, you have the EV. So you see the EV mode not available, but battery charge too low. So right now it's running on gas, as you can see right there. So this is what we have here. That's how it looks in the center console right here. And then the battery on the left side, see it says it's low, so it won't engage into uh, EV mode. And then looking on the left side right here, you have the, you adjust the brightness with this. With that, this would show your, yeah, trip like that, trip A or trip B. It changes right there in the middle, in the bottom, stuff like that. Then you have the hood, um, heads up display. If you press it, it turns off. If you press it again, it turns back on. That's what I'm talking about. It's pretty awesome feature. It looks pretty good. Then you have the parking sensors off and on just by clicking that button. If you press this, it's the safety features right here. You'll see your um, road departure mitigation. It's on. And then let's say turn it on. Click that button, then press back. That's the blind spot monitoring. Well, the info system, blind spot info system. It's on, low speed braking control 
collision mitigation braking system right there and then press exit they're all on cool press the home button well you can see your power charge your eco drive power flow from here range and fuel fuel economy speed and time audio phone navigation traffic signs that actually pop up in the display right here i'm not sure it actually it does display up at, at the the heads up display as well you will see the three dash lines that's where you'll probably see that the 35 miles per hour 40 miles per hour speed limit zones will automatically catch that rear seat belts maintenance warnings all right yeah that's it that's it on that eco drive power range okay then uh over here on this left side you have the first and second i'm gonna click on the second one because i need to sit back a bit more <laughs> and just you easily you simply see it's power uh, it's motorized move up and back like the for the back move this and then up and down you can use both it's motorized and the trunk to open the trunk is right there for the hood is right there auto windows are auto and the rear ones are not that's on the interior now that's how the interior looks full leather inside as well in the front and how much space do we have in this that's how much space you got here plenty of space plenty of leg room right here it's all buttons right here and um what else i want to miss anything i'm gonna make sure i cover everything inside here and then you have your uh, rear view mirror and then you have the you know what i like about the touring model is the fact that the door you can put it on, on i mean on off and on right now it's on on well this button will open up the moon roof over here and you can simply click this for you know if you want to check out something read a map or a book or something but if you do open your doors the front turns on in the other models it does not in the like a 1.5 only the back one turns on and that's what i know for sure and these do come with the vanity um the mirror lights over here and all right so let's go for a drive honestly because yeah this is how you're going to change reverse hit the brakes and pull push inwards it goes to reverse check out the camera real quick right now um you got this one i like you know it's just different views it's more narrow a little bit wide but i like the wider one uh it gives you more outwards uh you know visibility and yeah and then we have the parking sensors right here i'm sure it will beep when you get closer and they to see there's the three bars right here they'll probably turn some kind of color i don't know green to orange to red possibly or just orange and just show you how many bars you're closer to it but that's extra safety right there in reverse mode and then let's drive this is sport mode if i click sport mode that's what happens sport mode is like that and we'll take it off sport mode right now we'll just go in normal mode i'm gonna go ahead and put my phone up here with the moon roof and i'll make a nice pov video for you guys and keep watching smash the like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and comment below what car you want to do next and i will definitely do that for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do the pov video right now all right we're gonna go out see how it handles I do actually want to tell you guys that you probably won't see the heads up display right now because you're looking at it from the passenger side. So I'll definitely show you on the way back. Actually go right now. There's nobody going. We'll see how it picks up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, smooth drive, you know. If you guys are looking for a hybrid touring model, this is great. All the features are in it. it runs on battery. Yeah, it 
there's like a lag in like taking off and stuff like that. But again, it's a hybrid. You know, it's meant to save you gas, and that's why I got the battery version on it, so you can drive it on battery and go on a long trip and save. So, but driving, you know, pickup is great for a hybrid. Driving is smooth, responsive. So it does see what that shows. Current drive range it shows the range as well. That's pretty awesome. On the way back, I'll put it on sport mode and I'll show you guys the heads up display as well. U-turn here and I'll show you guys in sport mode braking is responsive as well great make a U-turn clear I'm just gonna grab my phone real quick and show you guys right there the hoods up display I'm going to put on sport mode and you guys could now see the HUDs up display which is right in the center. You can see the speed limit too. It shows that actually what I was right about that part. And we'll go see how, the, how responsive it is on sport mode. Sorry if it's a bit shaky in the beginning. I attached it to the window next to me. That's how it goes. I I floored it, and that's how the that's how the response was. You guys saw it right there. And again, braking is great. Driving is comfortable. It's great for people who want to, you know, drive a car with all the features in it and save on gas, go on long trips. This is probably it. This is your your uh, car then, for sure. It's spacious. It's comfortable. It's fully loaded. Alright guys, um, that's it honestly, um, stay tuned, just comment below what kind of car you want me to work on next, like to uh, you know make a review on, just comment below and subscribe, I would really appreciate that, enable the notifications as well, and stay tuned for more awesome content coming up, uh, for now, peace out, I'll see you until next time.